so welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vintage Tips and Tricks video. Today I have a video all about my favourite pairs of shoes that I like to wear in winter time. I have reproduction shoes, I have not really any vintage shoes anymore. It's really really hard for me to find true vintage shoes in my size. I'm a UK 6 or an EU 39. I find that to be a very common size so they get snapped up really quickly and in my experience vintage shoes always seem to be a size like 36 teeny weeny feet. That's just my luck because I speak to other people and they tell me that they have teeny weeny feet and they can't find the tiny shoes but they find things in bigger sizes. Je ne comprends pas. Before I go on, I thought I would quickly mention that right now on my Instagram is a competition with Lovely Bone Crossbones to win this set. It is a little bee themed set from them. So you've got a variety of different bangles in yellow and black, along with these very sweet earrings by them. So if you would like to win the set, not the set I'm wearing, we'll give you a lovely, nice, fresh set from Bow and Crossbones. But if you would like to win this set, head over to my Instagram and make sure you enter on the post where I'm wearing this outfit. It is open until December 30, 2019. So if you are watching this in the future, I'm sorry. What can I say? It's done. It's done and dusted. So that aside, good luck, everyone. I will show you my favorite winter shoes. Let's get into it. I'm going to start with a brand that I really love. I have a lot of shoes by them, uh, summer and winter shoes alike, and I wear them all the time. I find them really comfy. Everyone's feet are different. Mine are long and skinny, so they're the types of shoes that fit me, hence why when I do find vintage shoes, they often fit me quite well. But I know that's not the case for everyone, so it depends on the shoe brand, so obviously you want to try the shoes on. But I really love the brand Lulu Hun. Their shoes are indeed vegan, and they have told me through our little chats on Instagram and email that they're very passionate about making vegan shoes. They do care a lot about animals, and that is why their shoes are vegan. This little pair is a pair that they sent me recently. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen them. I have been wearing them like almost every day. I have clean them but they are looking a little bit worse for wear because it is winter here in the UK and that means rain and mud but um, being that they are a vegan shoe they're very easy to clean so I have wiped them down so they're a little bit a little bit shady but at least you know I actually wear the shoes and that I'm not just saying that I wear them so they're very cute like saddle style shoes they've got a slightly pointed toe with white laces they are very very cute nice and flat and comfy for wearing particularly I like to wear them with my Catherine trousers so I really like those and I just think they're super versatile and really nice to change it up from heels which I wear an awful lot with my vintage clothing so it's nice to have a pair of flats and something that looks very authentic. Jeans, um, Catherine trousers, I would even sport them with like a skirt and a pair of bobby socks. Super super cute so loving those. Thank you Lulu Hunks, they were a gift even though I've bought a ton of other shoes from them they did very kindly give me these ones so thank you. These aren't technically winter shoes but I will show them to you because they came with the other pair as a gift and I spotted these on the site and they were so beautiful and they reminded me of this picture here from a vintage book that I have and I just fell in love with them. I love the colour, they're like a pinky purpley colour and they have a fabulous little fluted heel on them and obviously they're a slipper for just lounging about the house and I mean you could wear them out but um I, I probably won't unless it's summertime, but I wouldn't venture out in winter in these, but for lounging about one's house with a glass of champagne, maybe on New Year's Eve, I think they'd be just about perfect. So they're really, really cute and from Lulu Hun as well. Another pair from Lulu Hun, these were not gifted. They're, well, they were, but not by Lulu Hun. They were gifted to me by Val last Christmas. They're gonna be very hard to see on screen, but they are available at the moment in black and also in two other colors, in a brown and in like an olive green color. And I've seen a lot of other people supporting them on Instagram. I find them very comfy and very warm and that is these little booties here with the cutest little, I'm trying to show them up close. Again these are ones I wear a lot so they probably looking a bit dusty but um, come on, come on. there we go. So they've got this cute little bow detail on them here and the black faux fur and they're like a suede kind of finish but again they are all vegan little side zip but they're on the inside of the ankle so you can't see it when you're prancing about in them and a cute little heel that's not too high is quite comfortable and I find these really comfy so yeah they are super super cute I'm hoping that you can see them so they're the three winter styles 
winter styles that I have from Lulu Hun that I absolutely love and wear to death. And you'll see in the pictures, I'm going to pop some pictures of me wearing them from my Instagram up here as well. Then my two other most worn like winter styles would be these babies here. They're not the most attractive pair in the world, but they are quite authentic. They are vegan. I got them from like a little cheapy store when I lived in Paris. I couldn't tell you where that was. I was wandering around in the city and I just spotted them, but you can get styles like this in a lot of places and you can find vegan ones very, very easily. So if you're looking for something comfy for like hiking and stuff, but you still want to look vintage, these are very authentic and nice and warm. And the vegan ones, of course, being made of, I don't know, I guess plastic material. If you step in a puddle, it doesn't soak through and saturate your feet. So. Highly recommend. Now these babies here are a pair that I got secondhand. I thrifted them in Paris in the 11th arrondissement. They are real leather. As I've said before on my channel, yes, I am vegan, but I believe in reusing first. The animal has already died. So I would rather make use of this until it wears out than purchase a vegan product. I like to go vintage, secondhand, then buy vegan products that are new. It's kind of third in the queue because that's still not great for the environment to be buying new stuff. It is better to reuse and recycle things and get pre-loved items. So these are beautiful. They're kind of a 70s vibe to them. They need rehealing pretty badly because I wear them a lot. They have a nice little wooden heel on them and I just love the shape of them. I just think they're really, really pretty. They're knee high, they come over the knee and then you can fold them down. They kind of have that pirate boot 70s vibe about them as well. If you fold them down, you can see at the back there, the leather is set up so that you can fold it down. So yes, love these, especially for a 60s and 70s look. They've had plenty of wear. Now, because Inevitably, I get all dressed up and I don't always want to be wearing like a functional boot or like a great big knee-high boot it doesn't really go with like 40s and 50s stuff. I do get around in my black pumps. These are like my most staple shoes. These are by Bait. I wear these constantly, like easily my most worn pair of shoes by far. Again, because they are vegan and they're like a paint and style, if I step in a puddle or whatever, nothing happens to these babies. They're super, super cute. They've got a really cute little toe detail on them. They're quite high, but they are very comfortable. And all of the bait shoes have like a gel padding on the inside. So yeah, I find in winter, if I've got a pair of stockings on, I'm quite warm in these. And as I say, you don't really have to worry about the rain getting in other than raining on the top of your foot. But if you step in a small puddle, you will survive the experience. So yes. And last but not least, I'm going to show you two pairs by lovely Met of Memory Shoes. She hand makes shoes, she has a little vintage store and I will put the links for everything of course downstairs but these are super super authentic. They come in two different colors. She makes ones that aren't vegan but she's got two pairs now that are vegan. They're little 1940s like Oxford style shoes with velvet laces in this beautiful green color and then the velvety black. You've probably seen these tons of times on my Instagram. I love these shoes. These are incredibly comfortable. I wear particularly the black ones for work. Shifts where I've worked 12 to 16 hours on my feet the entire time and my feet did not hurt, which is saying something because I don't think I've ever experienced a pair of shoes that can get me through a shift that long without my feet hurting in some way, shape or form. So I can attest to these literally being the most comfortable shoes ever. Plus they look like the real deal and it's coming from a small business who is eco-conscious and hand making the shoes. So that's really, really cool. So yes, these beautiful babies that I absolutely absolutely adore and again just an absolutely gorgeous person like Matt is just such a sweetie and I love shouting her out on my channel and on my Instagram because it's just she's just a sweetheart <laughs> so those are my winter shoes guys I don't I mean I suppose that is quite a lot of shoes but I know compared to some people it's not that many but they are the ones that I wear constantly and that you're gonna see over and over again on my Instagram so um, I hope that's helpful as I say the brands that are and new purchases that I really love are Bait Footwear, uh, Lulu Hun and Memory Shoes the other ones are ones that I have thrifted. I would highly recommend thrifting as always, but if you are looking to buy new because you can't find what you're looking for in a vintage store or in a thrift shop, then I highly recommend those brands. And it's always good to support small business. So anyway, guys, that is the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click that little notification bell so you know when my videos come out. Follow me on my Instagram. Come and join us in the Vintage Chips and Tricks Facebook group. We would love to have you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.